Hello YouTube, we're sanding out the skillet. Before I dump it out, I want you to see all the stuff. See what it is. Not to say anything bad, but I really don't like the rough finish on the inside, is why I'm doing this one. So I do not how, know how old this is. This is the one I took the handles off. I'll show a picture. I done this so it will fit in my small charcoal barbecue. I'll be making some kind of tray made out of rods or something to lift it in and out that's not hooked to this. You wouldn't want to drill or weld to this. Okay, we've used 80 grit. Bear with me. Aluminum oxide. Every paper. And some really cheapo. You'll see this stuff. I mean, I will use this cheap sandpaper. It's better on wood, but for a few dollars for a big pack, I'm just finishing with this really cheap sandpaper, which does work pretty good. That we'll show you here if we can. We'll take maybe take a couple pictures. How rough it is on the sides. I haven't done nothing with them. Okay. You will never get this out unless you machined it out, sanded it all day. And we're getting here close. But it's better when it was. So when I coat this, I will wire brush again. I will wash this really good. You don't want to leave any dirt grit in these little pock marks. So, as far as soap, <clears throat> only about the only time I'll ever use soap is when I wash this. But I will use soap, soap and water when I wash this before it seasons. Because it'll be rinsed a lot of times. But the soap will help bring it out. I know people have opinions on using soap, but this is raw cast iron and I want it clean before I oil it. But there you go. I don't want to spend too much time on that. But then again, I want to show up in pretty good detail here as long as the camera's working. That's why we're doing this outside natural sunlight. But I think you get the idea, as I always say. Been enjoying doing these. If it ain't fun, I don't want to do it. So it's only about 65 degrees out right now with the wind blowing around me. But it has been enjoyable. As you can see all the grit that comes out of there. That's metal and uh, stuff off the sand paper. That's not dirt. This was wire brush clean. Just that clean before I started sanding. This is what the bottom looked like. The inside. It looked just like this bottom. So we'll snap a couple photos. And we'll keep sanding. Said you'll never get it all out, but it's worth it. A lot of elbow grease. I'm not using anything. Uh, like my sanding flapper disc on a grinder, no, I don't want to take a chance to get carried away. We're just doing this by hand to get the rough stuff off. So, thanks for watching. The rest of this video might be just pictures. Wear your goggles. See that? Best with these cheap brushes. These were worth it. These were only four bucks. I'll have a picture in there of them. That's why. That's why you wear brush. Wear goggles. See that? Not the lecture. These were pretty good. These are probably three and a half dollars a pair, but they're polycarbonate, whatever, super clean, clear. They're just like daylight. 
I think I showed that in the video. See that? See how nice them are? Okay, that's it for the safety tip. I've had people ask if I'm wearing goggles. No, no, ain't gonna do it. No, 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 ain't fun. Ain't gonna do it. No, 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 no. Anybody remember that? The mother buzzer trying to get her son to go hunting and Bugs Bunny in it? I'm not leaving this in the video. Nah, I might. We're done sanding. Better what it was.